does not look to be systemic. It looks to be uh, two different employees uh, who uh, really uh, performed at levels that are horrific. Good evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. That was Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon touting his quick action to suspend and fire workers of Child Protective Services as a result of an 11-year-old's death. He says not systemic, but the union representing those CPS workers say it is systemic. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan covering this case all week, working to clear up under these polar opposite conclusions. Christy, of all the reporters, it was News Channel 9's that asked the Onondaga County Executive about the boy's death at last night's State of the County address. It was the first County Executive Ryan McMahon said the two CPS workers are more than on unpaid leave. He's firing them as they go through due process. Now, the union representing those workers and all of the county's Office of Children and Family Services has a statement out tonight, hinting at the caseloads on these workers, the high turnover in the office, and the loss of experienced staff over the years. Notably not mentioning, not defending the two workers being terminated. Here's that statement from the union president. He writes, we didn't want to comment publicly because nothing we could say will bring back the life lost. Unfortunately, not addressing issues which are in fact systemic in nature would be doing Ashton's memory a disservice. The safety and well-being of the children in our communities necessitates an independent review with state oversight about how our county handles the critical work of keeping children stay safe. Now, what the county executive said last night to trigger this union response. Do we need to look at how interagency departments that touch children talk to each other to see if there's breakdowns? Yes, we do, and we will. Uh, will we take another independent look at everything we do? Yes, we will. Um, but our initial analysis is, is that this was not a systemic issue. This was not a cost issue whatsoever. But two employees that performed horrifically, uh, and, and certainly there's other horrific details uh, about what happened to Ashton in the community as well. The state wasn't helpful with its generic response yesterday as to whether or not it will investigate. Police haven't confirmed the boy's cause of death and no arrests have been made. The county executive said he wouldn't speculate about criminal charges against those two county workers, Jeff.